Dawetu, Let Royce, Watoto Wake, Adarite, Kathy, Najef, Bishop, Parit, and the family, Fathers of Faith, our Bishop, Klaji, Wale Wate, Wame Fika, Leo, na muhubiri wetu wale ambaye ametupatia neno la Mungu the house of kraje that is here today area mp parashina and honorable paris former mp mababa honorable singaru and sankori area mca lemomo representative wa national and uh, county government representative yule ametumwa kuwakilisha governor wetu lenko nat teachers kepsha the teachers from the and the pupils from the gk prison the dcc joyfrey tanui na security team ambao wako hapa mabibi na mabwana na wavulana wangu watoto boy children bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe tena unajua mimi wale wamenimbamba so <laughs> na ninawapenda kwa hivyo ni lazima nawaweka hakuna mtu anakumbukaga hawa vijana wetu lakini wameanza kuendelea na kuwa wazuri kwa hivyo mimi nawaombea na ninajua Mungu atawapeleka mbali tukiachana na hiyo miadarati tuache mapombe bangi alafu tuweze, tuweze kuendeleza mambo ya <laughs> kuendelesha taifa letu mbele Ningetaka kabla sijaendelea nilete salamu za deputy president our regardi gashagwa the rigi G Mumepokea salamu zake. Leo angekuja lakini alienda hapo kwa uh, mheshimiwa mwingine ambayo amepoteza ndugu zake wawili hapo Kiambu, uh, Karongo Dhangwa, kwa hivyo na mimi nikakuja pande hii ndio tuweze kuleta rabirambi zetu kama familia na pia Uh, kuja kunisimama na dugu yangu Palit kwa sababu ni muombezi ambaye yeye na, na bibi yake ni marafiki wangu sana na pia niseme sio rafiki tu lakini tunafanya kazi ambaye wananisaidia na ninawasaidia hapa ya wajane uh, watoto yatima na pia wale mavu hizo ndizo kazi nzile nafanya na hao vijana wangu ambao wamepotea kidogo tunawarudisha laini <laughs> na wapenda sana <laughs> our bishop ame ameongelea juu ya vifu, kifo ambao vifo tatu ambazo watu hukufa na akaongea juu ya Watu ambao wako hai lakini wamekufa. Wale wako na dhambi that is physical you, you are physically alive but you are living dead. Unaendelea tu unatembea lakini uko tu mfu. Akaongea juu ya mwingine hao ni wale wamekaa katika hali tu wewe uko tu hai lakini Mambo yako ni mbaya sana huko kwa kwa binguni. Pia akaongea about the spiritually dead. Wale ambao hata roho zao zimekufa kabisa lakini bado wanatembea. Wana Afu akaongea juu ya kifo ambayo dada um, yetu ambaye amelala and that is the death that we all want. Unalala hapa unaamka binguni you are absent in the body but present with god na our sister lois i may not have met her but now having come here and have seen the way she has called hakuna mtu leo 
angesema ametumiwa barua kuja hapa kunaye that means our sister has already gone through her course she has run a, a, a good race she has finished and looking from around and seeing the tributes that they are, we are giving it tells me of this lady whom i didn't know but now i know her better and the bible says in revelation 14 verse 13 then i had a voice from heaven say write this blessed are the dead who die in the lord for for from now on yes says the spirit they will rest from their labor for their deeds will follow them kuna watu ambao wakifa hata kama tuko na huzuni bishop and the family mungu anasema wamebarikiwa kubarikiwa ni wale wamekufa na kifo ambacho ni kama kile dada yetu amelala kwa sababu kiangalia matendo yake yameanza kumfuata hata kama ametabika kwa huo ugonjwa wa saratani lakini kila mtu anasema hata kama alikuwa na uchungu even when he was she was struggling she was still smiling she was still serving she was still sacrificing and making sure that our pupils are educated and in the right way when they were here i saw when they were singing some were crying that means that she had affected them in the right way and therefore i come here want to condole with the family to also to condole with the community and the nation of kenya that has lost a very able teacher kwa sababu kutoka leo wale ambao alikuwa anasomesha tutasema we cannot be able to replace yes we will replace but her way of teaching the love she had for her pupils that cannot be replaced and that is why every one of us kila mmoja wetu lazima tuanze kufikiria ni historia gani ambayo utaandikisha tukija saa ile utakuwa umelala au umekufa kwa sababu kuna wengine watakufa wengine watalala tutakuwa tukiongea nini juu yako na niseme kutoka kwangu mimi na ona my daughters and my son i know you are going to have a hard time i will not lie to you it is going to be difficult but we are going to be there one of the things I do, I, I don't only look after the widows, I also look after the orphans. Mm. And because you are part of my family now, because of Bishop Palit, who is my brother and has been working very hard with those groups, I think uh, we will take one of them and we will be able to pay for her so that she can be able to uh, accomplish her dream mm. and her vision and i believe with time we'll be looking it's okay you can sit down with time we'll be seeing what we can do sometimes many people think when we are up there it is impossible to reach us you can get my number you can call me i'm always a call away i have never changed my phone from the first one I got, and all the people who are there, when they call, and I can be able, sometimes there are too many, but I sit down once over the weekend, and I return all the calls, and I answer the messages, because it is important. I'm only here as a servant. That is my work. When you rise in status, the difference is how you serve, and how you submit to the people who have trust entrusted you with an office it is not about status mweshimiwa mm. because you can be mweshimiwa ana tuheshimiki kwa sababu when people entrust you with an office 
what they are telling you, we trust you can serve us. And they give you that responsibility. And you'll be accountable. The same thing with the teachers. When you are given that uh, teaching, and somebody asked me whether why I was smiling, yes, I went to Kenyatta University. I am a teacher by profession. But <laughs> and so I know when we speak about teaching, it's a calling. We don't even, I don't think even salary will be able to pay you for the things that you do. The kind of uh, product you have made, every person here is a product of a teacher. And it is a very noble job. And I pray for you that uh, on Monday, God will help you to go to classes because of our children. Because all these things, even money, may not be able to pay you for the services you give. But those pupils that you teach, I am a product of a teacher. You can imagine I came from a ghetto called Kiandutu in Thika. And where I am, it took teachers and mentors who were able to bring me up to now. And that's why I do what I do. And so I pray for you that God will give you the heart and whatever it is that is in, under discussion, you'll be able to come to a place where you can be able to go to classes on Monday. And so, as a family, we wish the family, the pupils and friends and colleagues of the, uh, and teachers who taught with uh, uh, Teacher Lois peace and comfort and courage in this season where I know that uh, this is a heavy loss and it is very difficult for you to accept. But I pray that God will give you uh, that peace in this difficult time. I hope that you find solace in the scriptures because we know as may, uh, you may be heartbroken, but those who know the Lord like Lois had, they just rest. And once they have rested, we don't cry like those ones who are hopeless. We know where she's going. And of course, we will meet with them. Those ones who die in the Lord. We know that. When Giamuta Muona, this will be the last time to see the casket and the body. But the real Lois who is uh, present with the Lord, you will not see her if you do not answer to the call that the bishop has said, you know I'm a pastor now. You can start to tell. Mm. Teacher Lois leaves behind a rich legacy woven with, it, uh, with cherished memories that we endure for generations to come. Through her teaching career, she transformed and shaped our children through the values she taught, and we will forever, they will be uh, forever engraved in the minds and the hearts of generations. I wish to encourage teachers to emulate this great woman who has served selflessly in the education sector. All of us, regardless of our current status, are products of teachers, as I've already said, we celebrate the immense contribution that teachers make in the socio-economic development of our country and the world through equipping and skilling the knowledge, uh, and knowledge to the children from tender age. Every person who has ever lived eventually dies in one or two ways, as we have already been told. And very soon, Look at the person sitting next to, <laughs> to you, tell them, and very soon, you also have an appointment. <laughs> I know we don't like to speak about it, but it is a truth. The moment you entered this world and a birth certificate was written, a blank death certificate was put there, waiting for you to move and do what, accomplish that dream, fulfill your purpose, and once the purpose is finished, 
another certificate is written. It is called death certificate. And death is a friend of everybody. Anakufuata tu, akigoja siku, siku yako. So if you are working, work like there is no tomorrow. Because you don't know the day that this death will meet you from the front. Because it is a shadow. But when it meets you from the front, we find you in a casket. And your days are over. So I would urge all of us to fulfill destiny by serving people in the right way. The other thing I would like to urge us today is that we make sure that we go for testing. Because cervical cancer has killed very many women. And cervical cancer is treatable if it is discovered early. And I think uh, Bishop Parit, we ought to have uh, in her memory, we have a medical camp here in Kajiado where we can be able to, uh, to, be able to uh, screen for cervical cancer. So we'll be doing that. I think in next month, we can do one in Rongai, and then we come this way, and we do uh, those cervical cancer screening. Because I believe a mother should d d need not, please you can sit down. A mother doesn't need to die this young. Because we don't know perhaps if it had been diagnosed early, she would still have had time that she would have been able to serve the country, she would have served her children and seen her children's children. It is the same with the prostate cancer. And I think it is good that we all become careful because if we have to leave, Bishop, even if we pray, we also have to get to do the things right. Sure. That screening is so important for women. And I have gone to many, many funerals that ought not to have been there if we had done the right thing. And therefore, may God uh, bless the family and keep you and give you comfort and strengthen you to the society and community and even to our nation. May God strengthen us and give us comfort in Jesus' name. May God bless you and may God honor you as we rest our sister Lois. God bless you.